All right, guys, we have a very cool knife from Boker here today. This is the Boker 1969 Z28 Damast. Damast in, in Damascus, if I could talk. Yes, 1969. A great year. The year of my birth. The year of the 1969 Cor uh, Camaro Z28, which is what this is m loosely modeled after. It was the last year of the first gen Camaro. And so this is a muscle knife, if you will. It's a very cool knife. It's a little small. It's more of a, uh, uh, of a compact car than a muscle car, you know, a compact knife versus a muscle knife, if you will, but has some very cool features and gives homage to uh, the Camaro, in my opinion. They worked with a, an Italian designer, Tommaso Romisi. Here's a little bit of details about the knife. It's Chad Nichols to Damascus. Um, yeah, there you go. A couple of little details there in case I missed them. So, first off, let's just get the specs out of the way right away. Four and one eighth closed, seven and a quarter overall, 3.15 inch blade. Behind the edge is 0 0.011 if you care about that sort of thing. And if you care about the behind the edge, let me know down below because I started adding that dimension based on viewer feedback. So I just wonder, does anybody still care about that one or not? Okay. Chad Nichols, 80 layer tread pattern Damascus. And we'll zoom in and show you a close up of that here in just a moment. Weighs in at 3.5 ounces and the overall thickness is 0.558 minus the pocket clip. Okay. Has aluminum scales. It is a lacquered Le Mans blue paint slash coating that they had specially formulated for them as well as for the aluminum scales. So a lot of times the material that you are applying a coating to will take that coating in a different manner. Think about if you're painting on the wall, if it's got basic plain drywall, you need to put a primer on it and then you can put the color. Uh, if you're doing metal, you need to put a primer. Like you need to deal with the material and it's going to take that paint differently. Same difference here versus aluminum scales versus steel versus titanium. You know, the coating is going to be specific to the material, which I think is cool. Sadly for me, again, total nitpicking is the thumb stud is a different color blue than the scales. So for me, a slight, slight nitpick. That is common though. Boker's not the only person to do that. It happens quite often because generally speaking, the thumb stud is a different material than the scales. So again, it just proves my point, right? All right, so you have some markings here, Z28, Damast. Um, the pivots or the blade axle, as they call it on their website, is reminiscent of a rim of a 1969 Camaro, which I think is very, very cool. I think that looks great. The straight stainless steel pocket clip is reminiscent of the chrome on the door handle of the 69 Camaro, okay? You even have some vents over here that they had on the Camaro fenders. And it does have a little, let's see if I can show you, it has a grill kind of in the back of that vent, which is just very cool. You can see the liner lock here. It does not go all the way. It is a nested liner. I'm trying to get the light to show there without the flashlight being in the view. Um, it only goes about halfway back, has really nice lockup. It actually functions very well. I've had lock stick one time, but ever since then it has 
been fine. This one's numbered 159. I don't think I saw on their website that these were limited to a certain number, but apparently they are numbered. So that's very cool. The, the lock bar works, but it seems like it's a bit of a stretch to get in there. You, it takes a lot for my thumb to disengage it all the way to be able to close the knife. Eh, again, little nitpick stuff. Feels great in the hand. I don't know that this is something you're going to carry and use all the time, but it is a very fun knife. Feels good in the hand. It looks fantastic. It is sharp and ready to use on your normal EDC, kind of everyday carry office work, be bopping around town, going to the store. Like this is a great knife to carry around. This is not something you're probably going to want to hard use. You're not gonna to wanna to take something like this out camping because there are better knives for that. I, I'm big on taking the right tool for the right job, right? So, I, but I think this is very cool. And if you were into the Camaro, like I was, and a 69 was the car and still is one of my favorite cars, okay? Here it is next to a VC Edge interface. Um, yeah, I have always been a fan of that first gen Camaro style. And yeah, the 69 just kind of did it for me. The Sharpie and now the Spider Codelica. What else have I got here on the table? I've got the Kubi KB237. Something that is a viewer favorite sometimes is the Shirogorov RJ Martin. This is the soft overkill um, that Shirogorov made in collaboration with RJ Martin, the designer. Had different scales originally. I bought it on the secondary market with these um, aftermarket scales already on it. And I'm going to leave it exactly like this. I like these scales better than the original. But that's just me. That's the beauty of this knife community. So this was loaned in from Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods. I totally spaced that and didn't mention that. These run about... $595 from the Boker website. I did not actually go and look at Gil's website to find out what his price is. Generally a little bit lower. And then there is a promo code in the description of which I get no benefit of. It just tracks that actually somebody watched my video and he sold a knife because they watched my video. So I, I get nothing out of it. It's a way for him to track it. Um, so you get 10% off if you use that promo code and there'll be a link to his website. Down below, he carries Boker, Medford, uh, ZT tactile turn, maybe. Um, he kind of goes back and forth with tactile turn. Sometimes he gets stuff, sometimes he can't. Um, what else? Pro, um, Protec. He's always changing the manufacturers that he's carrying. So always check back. If there is a brand that he doesn't carry that you would like him to carry, reach out. Ask him, hey, can you start to carry X? And if enough people ask about X, he may look into it. I think he also does, he does Surefire flashlights, um, Phoenix flashlights, a couple different brands of lights, knives, fire starters, like yeah, does a whole gamut of stuff. Benchmade, a lot of stuff. So uh, yeah, go check him out. Anyway, now I'm rambling and this is not a commercial for him. It's just a thank you for him loaning this in. And uh, there you go. Have a fantastic day, everybody. And uh, let me know your thoughts on the muscle knife. I would appreciate it.